Incoming message decrypted. Incoming message decrypted. Incoming message decrypted. Incoming message decrypted. Brigadier Doug speaking. Just thought I'd lay down some home truths before we start. Welcome to Inter. Inter, International Elite Reconnaissance, a proud worldwide investigative espionage fighting organization. In fact, it is the worldwide investigative espionage fighting organization. But that doesn't make us invincible, not by a long shot. There's plenty of espionage and international crime going on out there. We only hear the half of it. That's where you come in. Usually, after the rumors and unofficial information department have picked up the slightest essence of international frightful wickedness, that's when we send you in. You're one of the agents in the field. But you're not on your own, no. We wouldn't leave you completely high and dry. There's a network of highly skilled agents, most of whom know as little as you do. But that's what the secrecy game is all about. I mean, we can't afford your being captured by the enemy when you're behind the lines. I remember the days of real action and those when there was none of this reliance on fancy gadgets and computers. We were lucky if we could jam a radio signal. It all used to be down to good old resource and cunning. A couple of things uh, before you start. Do you see that button on the audio playback device? Stop and pause. There's buttons. Well, as soon as you hear this sound, you must press one of those buttons, something to do with everything not being given away too soon, which can't be a bad thing in my opinion. Anyway, the text will tell you the rest. Things sometimes work out, and if they don't, well, Retrace your steps, that's what I say. Go back to the beginning uh, if it's not too late. After all, we're talking about missions to save the world here, a matter not to be taken too lightly. Old boy, Big Dare Dogs, signing off. <laughs> Jerry, yes, yes, we can see them now. They're lining up in front of that now famous Geneva building. They're all here, the different heads of states and ambassadors who have come together today to make this meeting possible. Perhaps in the next few days, world war can be averted. For many, this conference for world peace is our last hope. As we all know, relations between major countries have been rapidly deteriorating. It's been a long time since we've seen them unite together in one place like this. One of the officials, Minister Altari, is now approaching the microphone. I would like to open this conference of world peace for all nations with a few words. I... What's this? There's something above us. Lots of light. Jerry, are you getting all this back in the studio? The strange craft is being intercepted by the security helicopters here. This is terrible! The helicopters have been shot down! It's all panic here! People are running backwards and forwards! The area is filling with smoke! I, I can't see a thing! It's draining my eyes! I, I can see the... What? The officials! They're all gone! We shouldn't panic. Perhaps security have forced them all inside. No, that's a negative. The security men are running around like headless chickens. This strange flying craft is gone. You don't think that... Oh, no. It can't be. The officials have been kidnapped by aliens. Back to you in the studio, Jerry. Well, that was Dave on the spot in Geneva, where all the people upon whom the future of the world depends have apparently been abducted by uh, aliens. Well, that's all we have time for, so it's over to Susie for... The weather. The voice that you are hearing is being broadcast on all frequencies in all languages all over the world. We are from Uapag, 
and we have taken prisoner some of your most important Earth beings at this critical moment in your planet's history. We are aware that you need them to survive as a planet. We too need to survive. Our life supportive technology requires large amounts of the material you call gold. If the governments of your world do not provide sufficient amounts of gold in three days, we shall start experimenting on our prisoners. We have much to learn about your species. If there are any acts of aggression against us in this time, we will be forced to use our magnetic gas ray, which will destroy your entire atmosphere in a matter of hours. And that's all for the weather. This message, secret agent, is for your eyes and ears only, so I hope you're watching it in secret. By now you will have heard the news of the abduction of the delegates at the World Peace Conference in Geneva. Whether or not we are dealing with aliens from outer space, this is a crisis on an international scale. Agent Bosch has been on the trail of a UFO seen in Geneva and has tracked it to a location in southern Spain. This was his last report. This is Hank Bosch, Interactive Secret Agent, updating my action transmission report. After frequenting one of the local cocktail bars and ordering a fire top snowball, well shaken I might add, one of the local clientele directed me on the continuing path of the mystery UFO. I'm allowing the White Lotus convertible to cruise at a mellow 70 kilometers an hour. She twists and turns like a stalking cat. Just listen to that purr. Ah, yes. Hmm, most fascinating. I think that I may have found it. Very strange. I'm activating my subsonar radar reflective micro watch. Hmm, 10.30 p.m. in 12 seconds. And I'm getting a reading on that. What the? It's coming closer, hovering like light. Lots of light, very intense. I'm slipping on my special anti infra glare shades. Well, it's better to be safe and cool than fun. Good gracious, a strange figure has appeared. Perhaps this is the pilot. Name and status, puny earth being. My name is Bosch, Hank Bosch. That'll do. Now watch it. Careful with the tuxedo. It's from Monte Carlo. Help! 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 He has not reported in since then. As far as we know, his car is still there. Now, I don't want speculations about life on other planets. I want hard facts. If we're dealing with aliens here, they must be treated like any other terrorist organization. We're running out of time. The governments of the world are divided on the issue. Generals all over the world are in control. War is imminent. It is imperative that you locate the enemy base, rescue the captives, and disable any facilities that may represent a threat to the future of world peace. We already lost one agent on this mission. I do not intend to lose another. So use your head, secret agent. You may be our only hope. This is your mission, should you choose to accept it. End of brief. This tape will explode in less than 10 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. <laughs>
Assassins and saboteurs. We must have double agents. Hmm. Ah, you're here. A step closer, secret agent. We've got some toys that might come in handy for this next mission. No alien ray guns there, sorry about that. But I'm sure you'll be happier with what MAD have come up with. The first in line, we have a remote communications network source locator. This is designed to be attached to computers, cameras, telephones, and so on. If you press the red button, it'll start sending out a special wave band signal which will bounce back along any sort of network. Now it processes the signal and gives a sort of plan of the network, lots of lines and dots, stuff like that. Of course, you won't be expected to work it all out on your own, so we've installed a communipad which will put you through to the cyber dudes. Yo, Reality Surfer, guess Dogs is showing you the RCNSL. Just hit the pad and in moments we can tell you where all the wires go. If you find a speaker, we'll tell you where the hi-fi is. Yes, thank you, Mr. Dude. See ya, and remember, don't get info gunned on those firewalls. Gotta understand what they say, anyhow. Right. Uh, next device, this is a sub-DNA identification scanner. Simple to operate, prick the suspect's finger and place it on the screen pad. It's an experimental device and cannot always be relied upon. It reads the sub-DNA, which is much faster to process than actual DNA. It holds a database of samples from all known criminals, at least those that we've managed to get hold of. It also has on record all of our agents. Last year, we found two imposters who were doubles of our agents. Fortunately, the enemy haven't learned how to replicate our agent's DNA. Extremely useful gadget. Its, its fallback is that people are, on the whole, reluctant about bleeding on request. And the last gadget is what the team are calling an appearance modulation mask. Well, it's just a multi-purpose disguise, really. We've had a lot of fun with this one, running around the lab pretending to be famous people. You, uh, you, you, you put it on like this and meld it in front of a mirror. And hey, presto, you are Winston Churchill. If you rub various areas at different speeds, it creates a variety of hair color, uh, eyebrows, and uh, things like that. Uh, the rest is left to you, uh, like uh, a voice and clothing. However, be warned. It has a tendency to spring back into its original shape at inopportune moments and has also been known to melt. So, use for short periods only. We've had some problems with both the high-power energy cells and the long-distance link-up parts, so you may only take one of these gadgets with you. You must pick one, and the lads and lasses will wire it up properly. Shouldn't worry, though. A good agent always travels right. Well, <laughs> they did in my day. Oh, and by the way, secret agent, we can't let you take a weapon out on this mission. It's too delicate a matter if you happen to be caught. Who knows what these so-called aliens will do if they find an enemy agent in their midst. We cannot risk harm coming to the delegates. So make your choice from the devices we've got here and you can be on your way. Incoming message from Million Bill McCullen. Incoming message from Million Bill McCullen. Secret Agent Jill McCullen here. The computer search on Uapag has come up with some interesting results. There is no known planet or star system that relates to the name Uapag, encrypted or not. However, we do have some information on a political group with the initials UAPAG. This stands for the Unpopular Anarchist Political Activist Group. Perhaps this group are employing aliens. We don't have much on their history. Until this moment, they have never been considered a threat. Their agenda is confused. They have always had plans for setting up an anarchist world government. They have no external income. They may be after the ransom gold as a radical attempt to fund themselves. The location of a central base of operations is unknown.
Welcome back, agent. The life of an agent can be cold and lonely. Secrets eventually chill to the bone. There will be times when we can exchange our storm fronts. My name is Yuri Kolesk. Remember that. We may be requiring you as a backup force for one of our more clandestine operations, but you'll do nothing until I give the order. We must proceed with caution. The aliens are getting jumpy. Minutes ago, this message was transmitted internationally. This is a warning to the governments of Earth. Any interference or sabotage to our original agreement will be dealt with severely. We of Uapag have also decided to shorten the time left for the gold delivery to a day and a half. Your delegates are alive and safe for now. We're running out of time. Briefing over. Ah, secret agent. We've come to an agreement with the queen of the social underworld herself, Madam Furs. We've agreed to pay her 75,000 in Swiss bonds for news of any significant happenings in the underworld. You must attend one of her parties where she will hopefully give you information that may shed light on the mission. Don't offend her, Agent. She is more dangerous than she looks. I did not see you there. They know that you are here. You are expected. Madame Fox is on the cocktail deck. Ah, oh, nothing is split or broken. Careful now. Au revoir, mon petit fleur. <laughs> 